to French inadequacy in Saturday's mail, Diane. Yes, well, uh, planes, trains, automobiles, boats, nothing's going nowhere. So um, the port of Dover, as we have seen in the news, has been absolutely jam-packed chocker. And they're blaming the French authorities, uh, saying that some people just didn't turn up for work. Uh, Liz Truss uh, is very angry, and uh, she has been saying that the... Uh, Liz Truss has been saying, well, you know, she's doing, her, she's doing her kind of, you know, France is a natural whipping boy for any British foreign secretary, aren't they? Mm. Oh, yeah, perfect definitely. punch bag. Well, yeah, but then again, when you see the footage of like sort of the French police just parked, like having an ice cream at the beach, literally watching the human traffickers pushing <laughs> the migrants in a boat, you're like, OK, guys, maybe, maybe you could get a little bit more involved. Uh, basically, a lot of them didn't turn up for work is what they are saying. Whereas uh, this guy, Leclerc, who is on the French side, is saying, that is a lot of rubbish. There is a problem in the channel. What are you talking about? So everybody he was African. Nairobi. I've got one impression, Mark. That's all I do. Man. That's, so, <laughs> that's how you, I think all men you, sound. You've spent the evening looking at the, this story and, and, mm. and do you think all roads lead to Paris on this one? Or, or you know, I mean is it is it punishment for Brexit, Diane? I think it's passive aggressive. Sorry to jump in, but as a quite a passive aggressive guy, I think it's a <laughs> passive aggressive You know these techniques chicanery, yeah. Have you seen that video uh, where they, show, they they released a video saying, oh, look, these are the simple steps so that you can get your um, goods through customs checks now that we have Brexit. It is the most convoluted video I've ever One, seen get in the my life. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, I do think that there is a wee bit of punishment here because they, they have prepared for this for, for many, many weeks. It's not like this weekend was just sprung on them. It's not like they didn't know that there were going to be loads of holidays makers like the RAC were saying 18.8 million trips are going to be made so they should have prepared but they're saying what we are only an hour late you know I don't know what the problem we're is we're heading down to India now <laughs> Well traveled man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do after this? I'm going to fire my voice coach. That is what I'm going to do, Mark. I, I'd give I'd give them a pay rise. <laughs> Jonathan Cogan. Yes. Um the the issue also the French are crazy because they need us to come to their country, buy their wine, buy their cheese mm -hmm. and stay in their hotels. Oh, um, we don't have to holiday in France. No, we have many options. There's, uh, there's staycations and actually French trips and staycations were all I did as a child. I did go to exactly. India on a school trip where I heard a lot of people who sort of sound like but a French you know, guy. But you, you look at Spain as an incredible place to go, Portugal. Absolutely. And also imagine queuing for six hours uh, in immigration and then just ending up in France. That wouldn't double slap in the face, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we haven't been able to go anywhere for a while, so everybody is taking advantage of going on holiday now. But it, it, everything seems to come with a caveat. It's sort of, mm. oh, you can go to France, but you, but you must suitcases. spend seven hours... Yeah. Uh, in the queue. You can go to Spain, but you won't have your luggage. Exactly. You can, you know... But I also wonder whether there's another factor with regard to the French customs officials, and it's those three terrible words, Diane, which is because of COVID. You know, the, the airline industry, hospitality, travel, mm. uh, the civil service... Uh, Every industry uh, industry has been affected by staff my local, shortages. My local pool still shuts at four because of COVID. Because of doesn't, COVID. Make any, doesn't make any sense. It's what? one lifeguard. One, I'll do it. I well, it's because COVID loves chlorinated water. Oh, well, there yeah. you go, yeah. You know I mean, really, really builds up on those slides. It really does, yeah.